Welcome back, guys, for some week number seven action in JSL Group B, season number six. As we jump in here to this first game in top, what is this, the top left hand or bottom left? It is the bottom left hand corner. The pink! Protoss Paces. He is unclaimed by any team. He is the man, the myth, the legend. Try. And in the top right hand corner, the red Protoss Paces from TG Crew. It is the croissant. Croissant. Now we have ourselves another PvP. Alright, so again, PvP, not my strong suit. In terms of play, and because of that, not really in, because of casting either. I apologize for that heads up just ahead of time. So let's keep see what happens. Let's see exactly how explosive this series gets. Looks like both players opting for very similar openers. This is going to be what looks like you're probably your double gateways, cybernetic score, and either adepts or stalkers. So far, that that's about where I'm placing it. Yep, second gas being added on. So far, no second gas for try. We'll consummate a gas steal. Alright, Sovereign Next Core going to get added on here for Croissant. And away we go. Actually, try. You need to add yours on. Okay, a little bit, just a little bit behind. He will add one. He's actually going to go for the Nexus. Alright. Nexus. And then Cybernetic Score? I has to be worried here, because that means your warp gate's going to be a little bit behind. Which means Croissant will be able to enjoy a warp grade upgrade, or warp gate upgrade. Advantage. You don't have your second gas, and you went for the expand. Okay, so second gas isn't that big a deal. You know, you can work around that, especially if you decide to take your second gas down there. Are you going to go attack it? Nope, okay. No units being built just yet. However, on the other side of the map, a Stargate being added on. One Stalker, two Stalker, Stargate. Warp Gate getting added in there as well. But now, what is, what is actually going to get... Okay, Stalker, Warp Gate. So, is there going to be a Stargate added on? Is this going to be exact mirror openings? Outside the uh, Nexus being added on already? Okay, there's a Nexus for Croissant coming down. I know it's a pylon, but it will be a big nexus here in a bit. So, let's see. Pylon, pylon. Oracle about to come out here for a croissant. It is on the build tab. It will be out here sooner or later. Go send that across the map. Now, there are stalkers on the other side of the map here for a try, which have been revealed. Which means this star oracle may not get a lot done. Three stalkers coming up. Now, if there's a push here behind this, the oracle with the stalkers, that it, it could do a lot more. So, I imagine that that may be what happens here. And I'm a little concerned. Try has yet to do much, if anything. You know, he's just sitting on some stalkers in the Cyber Next Core. He hasn't really scouted. He, hasn't, he doesn't know about the Stargate. There we go. Oracle going to make its way towards the main base to see exactly how much this gets done. A robo on the way. All right. Now, the one thing behind this is Kassan's going to be able to get here and get some probes down, right? There's three probes so far. Four, five stalkers gonna have to make their way back up into the main. Just gonna fly right on down here to the natural. It's six, seven, eight, and climbing up out of energy. Eight probes so far, which means you know that's another nexus down. And here comes the stalker follow-up here as well. It's gonna start banging down the front door now. Stalker versus stalker is pylon gonna end up getting picked off. A warp in. Now with defender's advantage, you know you have the ability to just warp in there to your natural. Now, here's the thing. With, I was going to say, with the Stargate back here... The Robox is still... Deep. 
I don't understand why pro wrestling players like to do this, you know? You, you, you commit to a Stargate and build one Oracle, and then you go into Robo. I guess, it, you know, you saw Stalkers, so you should probably build Robo because Immortal does very well against Stalkers. But just one Oracle and you've only killed eight eight drones? Uh, maybe? I don't know. I'm not trying to say rewrite the game here. Rewrite your meta, rewrite your play style, but... This is what you get. And you see the, the, you know, the payout that Oracle has given you so far. You're at 13 kills with this one Oracle. You, just think, if you had another Oracle, imagine what would happen. They're faster and nimble. They provide stasis traps, you know, early game spellcaster. Trading energy for minerals, literally. I guess it's because it's an investment, you don't want to keep it going, but... You have this beautiful, beautiful donut here, and you're not eating anything out of it. <laughs> I guess you say you're not eating anything out of it. Eat. <laughs> Alright, but we do have an observer out now. Immortals on the build tab. So take a look at the overall picture. Everything's about even, you know. After the Oracle has gotten in here, done some economic damage, Tri still finds a way to upgrade into that third Nexus. Oracle about to make it another way around. Energy ready to rock and roll in the free world. These stalkers are on the move. He's looking like he might try to catch it. It's just sitting here. Okay, here we go. He's gonna jump in here. He's gonna get two more probes. Three. Oh, man. Imagine if Mass Oracle made its way back in Protoss or Protoss. This Oracle is more than worth it, guys. 17 kills on this one Oracle alone as it makes its way back home. Plus one upgrades on the way for Croissant as Tri is on the other side, building warp prisms and warping in more gateways. Looks like you might apply a little bit of pressure here. Now this is going to be an interesting situation as upgrades are on the way for Croissant. If they finish up before this push happens, you know, it's going to be a bit of a dicey situation here for Tri, but he will be able to warp in on the other side of the map with the warp prism, but there's only one immortal. One immortal so far. I really don't feel that's any good. So all in all, very similar opener uh, outside the Stargate, which is more than paid for itself. Going for that Oracle. We should see a push here sooner or later, as plus one upgrades are about to finish up for Croissant, for a plus one attack. One, one, triple, oh my god, shield, armor, and everything just started here. Charge lots on the way as well. All right, here we go again. The Oracle about to make its way back into the main base. Let's follow it and see what happens to it. So let's see, let's see exactly what this thing gets done. It's amazing. See, this is also how it feels sometimes. Like I've done this one unit has done so much. Like it's seventeen probes so far. Uh, and so it's just gonna go back home. Nope, don't want to be here. Going back home. It will actually. In oh, it almost caught that. Oh, almost caught the warp prism. But now, see, this is where it, things get interesting, because, like, I feel like I've done so much with this one Oracle, right, at this point in the game, we're eight minutes in. And... You're going to go over there and scout your opponent's base, and then you're going to realize there is so much... That has, it's four probes falling on the other side of the map to the Oracle, but there's so, you're so far behind. Like, he's at four base, getting triple upgrades, he's got a bigger army... Not quite a big army yet, but it's getting to that point. Blink on the way. Nice revelation there to keep the vision on that base to see where things are at. What prison does get spotted here? Bit in F2 to bring that back. Alright, Archon's being added on. In terms of army supply, Croissant is definitely super far ahead. Going for the plus two upgrades. 1-1-1. One, one, one. Not done yet for try. Blink on the way as well. Just playing the macro game. Just sitting back, building probes, being happy. He's up 10 workers. Amazingly enough, after that pro Oracle did that much. Becomes a game of, uh, it, like, maybe you should build, build stuff. Okay, so, 
Did anyone watch uh, GSO the other night? Or last night? I think it's last night or it was the other night. The night before last. I can't remember. Um, Armani versus SOS. What happened game two? Let me know. What you got, What do you guys think? Post it in the comments. Get some conversation going about that. Looks like we're about to have a move out here from Cassant. Now there is such thing as numbers advantage in any kind of matchup. This ooh, disruptor's being added on too, so we're gonna be playing a little bit of dodgeball with a lot of stalkers too. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna see some blinks, hopefully some good blinks to get away from things. Now you know the level of play is not grandmaster, so we won't see the massive blinks that are always amazing as you magically dodge out of the way of a disruptor about to hit four stalkers. You might see a big blink. I guess you could say unit control is not always great in a lot of players at the lower bit tiers, so... Not saying anything bad about our players here. Try and Kassant have played some very good series this season. But here we go, we're gonna dive in here. Let's see if he throws a disruptor out here. Nope, saving that shot. These will end up getting cleaned up. These stalkers falling so far. Here we go. The big stalker ball on the way. Now would be the time to throw that disruptor out there. It is moving towards the front. It is in danger zone. And then it gets picked off instantly. There is one more here, however. 11 probes have fallen and that fourth bit, third base. What What is going on here? Like, this. Are we deciding not to fight? Are we just. Alright, there we go. Big detonation. Get some more stalkers. Some zealots from the uh, north side going to flank in here. Another big round of stalkers warping in here. Now these are 1-1-1 stalkers, keep in mind. So they do have an upgrade advantage in armor and shields. But is it going to be enough? I don't think it will. Zealots getting on top here as, you know, Persaunt able to push in with that plus two weapons upgrade. And this is a case of not spending your money. I almost thought the soft route of BMGG there, but that's all the GGs come out from try. Alright, so let's go ahead into game numero two and see where this series ends up. Uh it's just been revealed that this will be a two game series. Oof, big oof. This is why I need to get my uh tools set up here. All right, game number two will be played on Submarine in this Protoss vs. Protoss showdown. And in the bottom right-hand corner, we do have the pink Protoss pieces down 1-0 in this series. It is... Try. That's weird. I didn't realize that that key actually can hide the things. They don't stay off though. That's kind of odd. They don't just stay off. And in the top left hand corner, the red Protoss Paces. He is TG Cruz, Zay Krishan. Can you like keep them off of that? Uh, control shift? That's weird. Like there's a key that. Turns off the plates. The uh, okay, that's, that's odd. They don't stay off though. Kind of weird. I, I just learned. I don't, things you just learn. Forge. I just lost, so I'm gonna try to cannon rush. Um. Okay, I seriously got a question to both of us now. You've lost one pylon, about to lose your second. And your probe falls, now do you send a third probe? So when when does the tap happen? There, oh, there it is. Fastest game two in GSL or GSL JSL history. 
All right, guys, that's going to close out this series as the Croissant takes out a 2-0 victory over Try. And week number is a seven, I believe. I believe it's a seven, yes. So, congrats there to Zekrasant in Group B.